Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome once again to this fine, fine edition of TYT Sports. Before we even get started, uh, a fellow who goes by the name of Cole Angecone B says, I think Rick and Joe Thornton are related. No, I really don't think we are. Joe Thornton is 1,000 times more of a badass than me. Let's just leave it at that. So what are we talking about today? Michael Bradley has transferred from Roma to Toronto FC. Toronto FC making a double in the transfer window, not only signing Michael Bradley, who is going to be what appears to be the captain of the United States men's national team. They are also landing former Spurs forward now Jermaine Defoe. So it's a fantastic move for Toronto FC, who has a losing record since entering Major League Soccer. But is it the right move for Michael Bradley? Remains to be seen. My initial reaction is no. The 26-year-old central midfielder has been a vital, vital part for the men's national team. You guys all know this, but he has developed nicely since going abroad. He has played in the Netherlands. He has played, obviously, in America, and he has played, obviously, in Italy. Now, his numbers for Roma were not great, but they were good. They were encouraging. And there's this sort of stigma, and look, I, I'm, I'm a total believer in it as well, that when Americans go abroad, good things are going to happen, their game is going to develop nicely, but they also have to have playing time consistently. So, with the watered-down competition of the MLS compared to Serie A, compared to La Liga, the Prem, a la Josie Altidore and a few others, Brecce, is this the right move? Leave a thought in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from all of you. Uh, a few of the numbers, by the way, for uh, Michael Bradley. I keep wanting to say Timothy Bradley. Michael Bradley, 82 caps in eight years playing for the men's national team. He will play in his second World Cup. The highest American transfers, by the way, Josie Altidore from AZ Alkmaar to Sunderland was $13 million. Josie to Villarreal prior to that was $10 million. And now this for $9 million. $10 million, excuse me, $10 million. And then fourth, is Clint Dempsey transferring from Spurs to the Seattle Sounders, DJ Flulo reference, for $9 million as well. Getting back to Bradley, though, the fine, fine midfielder for the States. His career started with the Metro Stars in 2004 when he was 16 years old. He has started consistently since 2005 with Roma. He played aside Kevin Strutman and Daniela De Rossi. Not bad company. Not Vincent, not bad Vincent company, if you feel me. One and a half years, he was with Roma, 29 starts, 41 league appearances. The manager was quoted as saying, this is interesting, it's a shame Bradley is leaving, but he wanted to go and we cannot, we cannot keep hold of a player who does not want to be here. It's a pity, and I understand he wanted more playing time. That's also a nice piece of news as well, basically for us to form an opinion. Obviously, he wants more playing time. Who doesn't? When you're a professional soccer player, when you're a professional athlete, when you're a professional trying to get on the air, no matter what you strive to do, you have to keep doing it, and you have to be able to practice it, especially in real time against other better professionals. So I understand where Michael Bradley is coming from. Should he have given up on that dream? At least that's how they're playing out to be. The manager is that quickly. Thoughts, comments section below. So now we get into your tweets very quickly. So let's roll along with those. Brandon Yu tweets Epic Strom, successful transfer for Toronto FC. Bradley, Rio, and possibly Defoe will get the team to the playoffs, hopefully to a title. Miguel tweets Epic Strom, if he moves, it won't be good. Going from one of the best leagues to the MLS? Example, look at Dempsey, scored one goal last season. And then who else we got? David Paracuive tweets Epic Strom, this is good for the MLS. Hopefully it grows and more stars come to North America to play. Kind of surprised he's going, to be honest. Preston Parenti tweets Epic Strom, it was all for money. I don't see how else you could possibly want to leave and go to the MLS. Mo money, mo problems. Nice hashtag. Rishi tweets Epic Strom, instead of overpaying for big name players, I'd rather see Toronto spend that money developing youth players. Build from within. Jason Mercier tweets, no one cares. You are incredibly long, J wrong, long, wrong, wrong. That's it. Ha, huh, you suck. Moving on, Jose Mejia tweets Epic Strom, it's not the best for the U.S., knowing they're in the group of death. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't make it to the World Cup. What are you talking about if he didn't make it to the World Cup? Of course he's making it to the World Cup. Rico Brown tweets Epic Strom, for Toronto FC, great move for Bradley. It's an okay move, but for USA, not good. It is not the, it is not the time to lower, be playing lower level. Okay, I'm, I'm done. Uh, let's see who else we got. Alexander Love, a two-parter, says part one. Bad move for men's national team because Bradley would, would be top-notch after playing in Roma for World Cup. Him coming back to USA would only benefit Toronto FC, but then again, he'd get much more playing time. Tough choice, actually. Uh, doesn't Roma have many mids? Roma doesn't have many mids. Lastly, Matt Lee Puma tweets Eric Strom, it was a move based completely on money. You don't leave Roma to go to the MLS for football. So, 
I'm asking all of you guys now, good move or bad new move. <laughs> English is my second language. So leave a thought in the comment section below. Give this clip a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And most importantly, help us out and subscribe to TYT Sports. You can click right there, right there. It's free. See ya.